Shalom, brothers and sisters. Um, I got a question for you today, and that question is, where's Dinah? Where's our sister Dinah? Because she is missing, and the sons of Jacob need to be doing everything they can to help find our sisters. There are over 65,000 black or Hebrew daughters of Jacob, daughters of Abraham, as Yeshua speaks of them in the Bible, missing. They're taken every day. And one of the disturbing things about this is I heard a brother who he's making videos, but it sounded like or it didn't sound like he blamed the women for their own um, abduction. And a lot of them are under the age of 18. Um, one little girl, she was eight years old when she was stolen. This man was speaking about the fact they were pole dancers. They were out there on the streets. And it just seems like everybody has been desensitized to the fact or to the love and sensitive care for our sisters. And my question, and it's not going away, is where's Dinah? Where's Dinah? She's our sister. When Jacob's daughter Dinah was taken, the 12 sons of Israel wanted their sister back. Where's Dinah? Okay, first, I'm going to show you the faces of Dinah. This is just some, because remember, we're talking about over 65,000. As a matter of fact, the current read that I had had it up to 74,000. Okay, the media doesn't care. They try to vilify them. They try to show them in a the negative light. Um, they don't report them missing. I just want to read you a piece for a moment here. And we're going to start in the book of Genesis. All right. And Dinah, the daughter of Leah, which she bare unto Jacob, went out to see the daughters of the land. All right. These particular brothers were talking about the fact where they run in the streets. Well, Dinah went out too. Okay. These men who call themselves the sons of Jacob, yet Israel. Okay. I'm a daughter of Jacob. I'm a daughter of Abraham. Where's my sister Dinah? Where's she at? Why isn't somebody looking for her? Okay. Let me tell you about my real brothers, my brothers who are from the 12 tribes of Israel. Let's read about what they did. Okay. And Dinah, the daughter of Leah, which she bare unto Jacob, went out to see the daughters of the land. And when Shechem, the son of Hamar, the Hivite, prince of the country, saw her, he took her and lay with her and defiled her. He raped her. Okay, the Hivite is one of the tribes of Canaan. He is a from the tribe of Ham or from the, the lineage of Ham. Okay, and it says his soul clave unto Dinah, the daughter of Jacob. Now they're calling her, they're recognizing her. She's the daughter of Jacob. Okay, maybe that will hold more value to some of these brothers. These words did not come out of an Edomite's mouth. These words where the brother acted as though it was somehow their fault. Um, they have been caught up by the, the monster of the media, the Hollywood lie machine. It does not care and tries to devour your own sisters. Okay, but... I'm a daughter of Di Di uh, I'm a daughter of Jacob, Dinah. I'm the spirit. I'm the mother, as far as I'm concerned. Where is Dinah? Where are they at? And my sons, the sons of Jacob, go find your sister. If you're on the corner and you can speak the word of God, you can speak about your sister Dinah. The spirit of Dinah is screaming out, looking for her brothers. Why aren't you finding your sister? Okay, let me let me finish. Okay, all right. And the sons of Jacob came out of the field when they heard it, when they heard it. Let me tell you what the sons of Jacob, how they reacted. Even though you got these brothers running around and they're talking about they're the sons of Jacob. They're from the tribe of Israel. Well, let me tell you what the original 12 brothers did, how they responded. And trust me, they were not putting their sister down. I just, my spirit right now, the mother of Israel, my feelings. 
it's 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 like they're my daughters. I don't care if some of them, if we the same age, they're my daughters too. Where's Dinah? Where's Dinah? Okay, wait a minute. And the sons of Jacob came out of the field when they heard it. They came out. No, they didn't sit back and make some passing statement. They came out. Wait a minute. What? What? Dinah? D what? Somebody took my sister. Hold it now. Come on. Come on. And the men were grieved. First of all, they heard them. Because that's the love. See, when you love somebody, it grieves you. When you have love in you, it grieves you. You, God bless them, because I got that same love in me. And I got it for my brothers. Every time I hear that the son of Jacob is shot down, every time I see one locked up for something crazy, it grieves me too, because I love my family. Let's be clear. I love, where's Dinah? Let me finish. And the men were grieved, and they were very rough. That's angry, honey, just like I feel. Mm -mm -mm. Because he had wrought folly in Israel and lying with Jacob's daughter, which thing you ought not to do. Okay, I'm going to go throughout chapter uh, um, uh, 34, Genesis 34. All right. And at the end, after they had uh, deceived Hamar and Shechem because they didn't owe them any honor. They didn't owe them anything. They wanted to know, where's my sister? Where's my sister? This Hollywood lie machine, this propaganda machine won't go find your sister. If you standing out there on the street corner, holler up and down. Every time you get on that mic, call out about your sister, Dinah. You should make it where everybody's mind. Where's Dinah? Where is she? Why are they stealing your sisters? I think it's because they figure their brothers ain't going to look for them. They ain't even going to make no noise. Okay, wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Mm. See, and the sons of Jacob answered Shechem and Hamar to his father deceitfully. They wasn't giving them no honor because they didn't deserve any honor. What they did know was, where's my sister? What did you do to my sister? Whoo! Wait a minute. Now, Jacob got upset. He did get upset because Simeon and Levi, first they told them, you want our sister? You want to marry us? and We marry yours. You're going to have to get circumcised. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to get circumcised and follow our laws. And while all the men in the town were circumcised and healing and feeling a little sore, Simeon and Levi went down there and tore it up. Tore it up. Okay. And Jacob said to Simeon and Levi, you have troubled me to make me stink among the inhabitants of the land, among the Canaanites and the Perizzites. And I being few in number, they shall gather themselves together against me and slay me, and I shall be destroyed. I am my house. But here's what our brother said. Should he deal with our sister as with a harlot? Some of these girls are as young as eight years old. One of the things that they do. And I'm talking about these are the spirit of Dinah. Where's our sister Dinah? Okay. One of the things the media does, they try to classify them as runaways so that they don't have to issue an Amber Alert. Well, here's our Amber Alert. This is it right here. Here's our Amber Alert. Amber Alert. Where's Dinah? Where's Dinah? Every time you make a video, every time you're on the street giving a word, you need to speak about your sisters. You need to make every neighborhood you go in keep an eye out. Look, as a matter of fact, Watch out that that man over there looking kind of strange and getting too close to our sister, okay? And if they don't talk right, because some of us don't, and like I had said, some of us have never had fathers. My father died when I was three, okay? My father died when I was three years old, and there was no permanent man in my home to teach me um, about what I should expect. There wasn't. My uncles lived far away. I actually learned more about men on television. Okay. But God was good to me. I loved the Lord. And I started studying the Bible when I was young. And ironically enough, because I didn't have a real dad, I used to read the Bible and pretend God was my dad when I was little. That was my thing. Okay. I had a dad too. He just was in heaven. Remember our father, which art in heaven. So, I took it seriously, and I made him my father, never knowing as a child that how powerful that was, how powerful it was. Um, but we're talking about Dinah. Where's Dinah? 
Where's our sister, Dinah? 65,000, they snatching them left and right. The media tries to disavow them. They try to disregard them, but we the media now, baby. We the media now. Uh-uh, uh-uh. This will not go on. This will not, it won't stay this way. They will flood radio. They will flood television. They will amber alert your phone, depending on the region that you live in. That's where those amber alerts come through. When's the last time you got an amber alert about a black child? When's the last time you got an amber alert about a black child? I, I, I didn't receive an amber alert. Did, did you get an amber What? No amber alert? We're the amber alert. See this? This is the amber alert. We're going to amber alert each other. Okay? The fact that it's 36.7% of those missing right now in this country are black teens under the age of 18 years old. The fact that it's disregarded, the fact that um, the news when it's a, a, a white female, um, Elizabeth Smart or Natalie Holloway. Smart, a 14-year-old white girl, was kidnapped in 2002 from her home in Salt Lake City, Utah. After an intense search that included relentless, wait a minute, relentless media coverage. Smart was rescued by police nine months later. And among other activities, she's become an analyst for the ABC News. Now, you would think somebody that has been abducted might want to make abduction something that she fought against because I could follow that. But and, and, and I'm just naming a couple. When is the last time? What name do you know of a daughter of Jacob that's been taken? A little son of Jacob that's been stolen that you can see the image in your mind because the media plays it over and over and over. Many times when the parents contact the news. They don't even want to put it up. You know, they're treated like pests. Do you know that taxpayers, oh, we pay a lot of taxes. Listen, where's Dinah? Where's Dinah? The news, the media ignores it, ignores it. But when people who don't look like you or I get stolen and look more like those who are uh, reporting the news, suddenly, oh my God, stop the presses. Okay. Um, as far as the gentleman, or I, 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 the one who considers himself a son of Jacob, okay, um, he started blaming the females. It's unbelievable. He drank the Kool-Aid, my brother. Um, but I'm pray for you. You know, here's the thing. This is what the Word of God says about that. For I desire mercy. And not sacrifice. See, a lot of these people out here that's making these statements, they think if I sacrifice my time and I speak the word of God, I'm doing my job. Oh, yeah, that's part of it. But mercy. Wait a minute. Where's some mercy? Where's Dinah? Where's Dinah? Where are those sisters at that have been taken, stolen, and everybody looks at it like, well, you know, that's old news. It's not old news. Imagine your little sweetheart, she go outside to play and just vanish. And then when you try to go get help, the media don't care. No Amber Alert is put out. They put her down as a runaway. And if she's a teenage girl and ever had trouble with the law, they're quicker to put up a picture of her, uh, where, where, uh, here's, here, wait a minute, I wanted to get some, another picture. This is another group, uh, of women that are missing, okay? Let me see if I can get it up. You know, um, and I'm going to talk as I put this up. This is another group. Remember, I said 65,000. 65,000. I want their faces to show. 65,000. Okay, don't they matter? Don't they matter? Don't they look like your sister, your mother, your aunt, your cousin, your wife, your daughter, your love, your friend, your neighbor? That's us. Where's Dinah? Where's Dinah? How come nobody's looking for Dinah? The media ain't crap. If they don't earn their keep, they're not anything. I'm telling you now. Where's Dinah? I'm trying to talk right but my heart is involved. And let me just say this for those who um, who speak so eloquently. And yes, there are moments I, I can speak eloquently too. But I, I just got this overreaching question. 
Where's Dinah? Where's Dinah? Who's looking for Dinah? Whose voice is out there saying, where's my sister? They're stealing your sister. Where's Dinah? The sons of Jacob should be grieved. They should be wroth. And where's Dinah? Okay, this isn't, I don't care that this beast isn't looking. I do care, but I'm saying they're not the only one. They're not the only one. We have the power to make this thing go viral. We have the power to speak to each other. Next time you go out there and preach on the corner, remember mercy. Remember mercy. Okay. Okay. Let me say it. I'm in first Corinthians chapter one. Starting at the 26th verse, for you see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. OK, but God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Let me be foolish right now. Where's Dinah? If this gets it moving, I'll act like I'm crazy. Where's Dinah? Where's Dinah? Where's Dinah? How come nobody's looking for her? How come nobody's making noise? Make some noise. Make some noise. Okay? But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things that are mighty. That are mighty. Okay? And base things of the world and things that are despised. Hmm. Have God chosen, yea, and the things which are not, to bring to not things that are. Okay. The daughters of Abraham mattered. They mattered to Yeshua. One of the reasons why a lot of what Jesus did, it was symbolic, uh, but it was literal at the same time, um, was because people needed... An example, when the woman was caught in the act of adultery, the men of the town brought her. You need to look at the story. I require mercy, but instead of sacrifice, they brought the woman to be stoned. But do you know, according to Levitical law, going into, let me get it right, because I don't like to get it wrong, because phew, it seems like some brothers don't care about the sisters when they out here preaching. They just like to point out wrong. Leviticus chapter 30 to chapter 20, verse 10. Here's what it says. And the man that committeth adultery with another man's wife, even he that committeth adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. But if you remember that story, only the woman was there. You got people out here that, that are so self-righteous. Somehow, they, they can call down the sin of somebody else as though that one's condemned. Because that's exactly what this person did. He called down the sin. Never counting any sin unto himself. Basically, if you meet a perfect man, you might want to give pause because you're standing in front of Yeshua HaMashiach. Other than that, there's no perfect person. None of us are without sin. Does that mean we condemn each other? Does that mean we don't have mercy? Does it? We don't have to look to the other nation that you know don't care about us to find Dinah, to find those sisters, to find every day they're snatching them. And let me tell you part of the reason. If I figure you don't care, if I figure I can tell you some convoluted lie and you just swallow heart, then I'll lie. And that's what it is. It's a lie. No Amber Alert to go out. No Amber Alert. They barely put it on the news. Where's Dinah? Why are they stealing all these daughters of Jacob? And that's what they are. This man kept talking about how these pole dancers and they run in the street. Hoochie mamas. Mm. <laughs> The youngest one that I had finished reading about was eight years old. I, I don't even know what word he would give for that. And here was the funny thing. One of the girls was a fo in foster care. One of the girls was uh, living in a shelter with her mother. They were homeless. And, and these people who had determined themselves to be so above, I guess it didn't matter because these, they, they, these girls didn't have a lot of money. I'm telling you now. When God makes his judgment, it's going to be a very interesting day.
brothers and sisters, you know, there's a reason. Yeshua, even when uh, he was walking with his disciples, why? He, um, he wasn't cruel to the females. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. He was actually very kind. Okay? And I think somewhere in the midst of some people being priests and preachers, they seem to have forgotten that. It, 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 it seems to just be tossed aside, overlooked, disregarded. Um, it just doesn't matter to them. Okay? Let me just give a little bit. See, it, you, you, you got to think this way, too, for those who actually feel that way. Some of the brothers that have entered into the ministry, you were out there in the world once. But God gave you the opportunity to get your life together. Okay? So, before you condemn, recognize that all of us deserve an opportunity and nobody. You, you don't even know what these people are doing to these females. Sex, slaves, torture, you just don't know. And for that reason, even if they keep it, they're not there because they want to be there. They're there, and trust me, they're wondering every second of every day, is somebody looking for me? Who's coming for me? When are they going to stop this? It's up to us. Whether you're on a street corner, whether you flood the, your Facebook account with it, give a shout out about it, tell people to keep their eyes out, talk about it, be aware of it. If you meet a little female and she seems a little sheepish, it may be because her captor has it or messed up her head and she's very cautious about how she discloses that I've been stolen. Because you might not, you know, one of the things the Bible says is walk circumspect. Watch. We got to watch. Time to watch. Okay. Keep your ears open. Okay. Watch. Okay. Where's Dinah? I can't. I, I had so much to say, but I, I got to keep my heart in check. Okay, I'm in the book of Romans chapter 16 for those who think the females of no account. Um, this is Paul. He's saying chapter 16, I commend unto Phoebe, I, I commend unto you Phoebe, our sister, which is a servant of the church, which is at Sancheria. Okay, we go down a little bit further. Verse 6, greet Mary, who bestowed much labor among us, okay, when we look at Yeshua, when, like I said, whether it was the woman who was caught in adultery, when you look at the book of Leviticus, chapter 20, verse 10, one of the things you'll know why they were trying to call her the law was how they had excused the man. You know, you can't do adultery by yourself. You, 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 it's a partnership. And according to the law that they tried to stone her by, what, what, where's that man? Oh, mm -hmm. all right. And then I, I, the wisdom, let he who is without sin be the first to cast the stone, be the one to cast the first stone. Okay. Where's Dinah? The brothers of Jacob, the sons of Jacob, not the brothers, the sons of Jacob. They, you wouldn't go mess with their sister. They love their sister. You got brothers right now. Uh, I understand that that white man who beat on that black woman, he was holding a gun. But to hear laughter in the background? <sighs> I'm a woman, and you're not going to be on my sister and ever hear me giggling in the background or standing there. I'm videoing it, but I'm not giving her any support, none. The sons of Jacob. Brothers and sisters. We need to find our sister Dinah, every one of them. 65,000, last count, 74,000. Okay, we need to find our sister Dinah. You got a monster meeting machine that these women want to get on the air and, you know, uh, act all prissy prissy. And you tell them about a black female. Oh, mm. well, and it's a bob. I don't even want to look, look at one of them. I tell you, I'm changing the channel clip. I don't, if, it, 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 if it doesn't deserve attention, mm -mm. we pay taxes. 
Why aren't the police spending time looking for them? Why isn't there an investigation for them? Where are they at? I don't care if they live in a shelter. I don't care if they're foster kids. It doesn't matter. They're human beings. Oh, and let's not get started because we all know Moses. I mean, if you read it correctly, he was adopted. Hmm. He was adopted into the house of Pharaoh. Okay? He was adopted. Now, we know his mother was trying to save his life. So, we can't discount people for how they grow up because that can be the exact person God's going to use for a mighty work. A mighty work. Okay? I just got to put this out here that, you know, uh, like I said, there was a brother who, uh, he made light of it like it was nothing. And it sounded like Esau was talking as far as it, 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 it sounded like something Esau would say. Um, but trust me, when Dinah was taken by Shechem, Jacob's sons, they weren't having it. They weren't having it. Okay. They went and recovered their sister. They took her home. They went and recovered their sister. We need to go get Dinah. All 65,000 of her. We need to find Dinah. Right now. Amber alert. Amber alert. Eh, eh, I need to make a noise. I, I wish I had something can make a noise. This is an Amber alert for our sisters Dinah. All of them. Dinah. The spirit of Dinah. Okay. They are still in our sisters. Okay. And it's time to go get them. It's time to bring them back. It's time to make a noise. Okay, you be peace. I mean, you be at peace, and you be blessed. Where's Dinah? Where's Dinah? Can you imagine if it was your daughter, your sister, your niece, your cousin, your friend? Where's Dinah? Where's Dinah? Where? Dinah.